that um, the DPK, DPRK is providing, that China is providing, um, is, um, is fueling uh, the war of aggression um, in Europe. And uh, it's, it, it's not only um, in violation of uh, you know, what Russia is doing with DPRK, not only in violation of uh, the UN Charter, with UN, UN, UN sanctions, uh, but this is the kind of assistance um, that needs to stop, as Russia needs to stop this war of aggression against Ukraine. So Ukraine has, you know, proven that when given the, the assistance it needs to defend itself, will fight bravely and valiantly. And uh, you know, Korea has provided um, a lot of this assistance in terms of uh, ammunition. Um, and and um, I think we're calling on all countries to support Ukraine and uh, give it the tools that it needs uh, in order to um, defend itself. I think um, this is another example of what the ways in which what happens in um, Indo-Pacific can impact um, uh, also transatlantic security. And so, um, Russia seeking weapons from uh, the DPRK. Um, it's looking for ways that it can uh, continue its assault, its aggression against against Ukraine. So the connections are deep. That's why we're going to have um, the leaders of NATO's Indo-Pacific partners um, at the summit, so we can talk about ways um, that we can again learn from each other um, and cooperate in addressing these common security challenges. It also includes the partners in the Indo-Pacific, uh, because what we are increasingly finding, both the allies and NATO's partners, is that the security challenges that NATO allies are facing are often the same as ones that um, our partners are facing around the world. And so by having those uh, relationships, by having them here at the summit, we're able to exchange insights, lessons learned, uh, find ways that we can cooperate uh, to address common common threats and challenges. The reason for that is because allies are increasingly recognizing that there are the links between security uh, in the Euro-Atlantic space and in the Indo-Pacific. And we're facing similar challenges and we need to talk more um, and exchange uh, uh, experiences and lessons learned uh, and cooperate more um, so that we can um, uh, both be better at addressing these, these, these challenges. But also, from, from the perspective of our Indo-Pacific partners, they have said what happens in Ukraine will directly impact um, their security and may presage what's going to happen there. So uh, this will be an important summit for deepening those ties between the Alliance and the Indo-Pacific.